just ask your child, you know, if they've been playing all night. You know, when you close your eyes at night, what do you see? Do you see your little video game guys running around? Do you hear the the call of the music in the background? And they all do. They all do, especially when they're paying it six, seven hours at a time, three, four hours at a time, five, six days a week. It is in their mind. It is impressed into their mind. And you need to figure out techniques to begin to counter that without causing a crisis in which the child will begin to disrespect you for taking away what is occupying them from being bored. Because that's all those games are doing, is occupying them from being bored. They're kids. Now, the classic thing is to say, go outside and play. And the child's like, why? You know, and you say, well, I would go outside and play when I was a kid. That's what kids have done. That starts the generational argument. Once you involve yourself in the generational argument, it's going to be ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. Do something with your kids. Okay? Maybe that's the proper structure for that individual kid or that individual frequency. Hey, you want to go to a ball game? Hey, you want to go get a hot dog? Hey, I'm going to go to the library and get some books. Do something that involves them instead of just saying, hey, get the hell outside. You've been on that damn video game all day. And then there are those kids that have to have that because the addiction has gotten so much. My advice first is when the child is not in the house, that you go and find the best way to spiritually clean their room every day. That computer, computer, the little voice thing that they have, their keyboard, which is full of their energy, the chair that they sit in, and you focus in on a, like a mother who's making sure that there's nothing coming in affecting that child. And then they're going to get antsy sitting on that chair, and antsy sitting on that chair because the energy that's being protected and can't stay there. Fresh air. Always make sure when they've been sitting there for several hours and they've built up the, the sweat and the pheromones and they've been releasing all of these um, these different essences from their DNA skin suit and energies from their signature frequency, um, really make sure that you open up those curtains, you get some sunlight in there, you get some fresh air in there. Um, make sure those bed sheets are, are at least once a week cleaned. Um, if not more, really, really try and get that room as clean as possible so nothing sticks. This will really help. 